I am Danish Khan from the Economic Times Telecom and we have Mr. Amit Satpati, the IoT head of Vodafone Idea. And we are, we are going to discuss the IoT business of the telecom operator. Thank you very much, Amit, for joining us. Thank you for your Thank time. You. So, uh, IoT business has been a focus area for all the telecom operators. But why it is now assuming a larger role for telecom operators' uh, enterprise business? Good question, because... Uh, certainly, there's a lot of buzz of my IoT because now we are entering an era of machine-to-machine you know, -machine communication and man trying to communicate the machine very smartly and controlling a machine or managing a machine or monitoring a machine is not possible without uh, an IoT device or a sensor which captures the data and transmits it back to the controlling system. So earlier we had an era where the digital transformation was happening which was an IT-led now this is the IoT-led uh, digital transformation as I will make. And that is the reason in any transformation requires IoT at the point. Right, right. So, oh, a Vodafone idea has been there in the IoT business for so long. Are there new verticals which are looking at uh, 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 new solutions, IoT solutions from a telecom orbiter like Vodafone idea? Yeah, so we have been traditionally the pioneers in deploying, developing and deploying IoT use cases. And because of our global expertise, learnings, and the India expertise in the last 10 years plus, we, we are focusing on the three emerging areas, which is smart mobility. Smart mobility is any IoT use case which is dynamic in nature, and the rest two are static in nature, which is smart infrastructure, under which Industry 4.0 data solution comes in, and smart utility, which is smart metering, mm. gas metering, water metering. Right. So these three horizontals is where we focus upon and loads of new use cases are coming under smart stability. As you may have noticed, the entire country is going through a transformation on the logistics side, the supply chain side. And that is what they are trying to implement the Honorable Prime Minister's vision of Kandi Shakti. And that's where we are also focusing because that's where the opportunity for uh, enterprises to reduce the Logistics cost from say the booking percent to eight to nine percent. You, I think many multiple uses cases are coming up there, and that is where we are also focusing. Quite right. Well. So at the technology level, which technology is the most important technology for IoT? Is it a LoRaWAN? It is NB IoT, or is there on any other technology? See, I would rather turn that question and say that for different use cases, See, we use different protocol technology. Right. So an NB-IoT might not work if things if for uh, many use cases which is dynamic in nature, yeah. which is very high transaction. Uh -huh. We have seen that, we have tested that. Because to come up with even newer IoT solutions, because the requirements are evolving and technologies are also evolving along with that. Do you think that there is a need to have deeper collaboration uh, with the industry? I think that's a good question. So. IoT is a solution. It is not a straight jacket in out of shelf product. So this requires collaboration between a lot of players. So in there is a hardware component, there is a software component, connectivity component. Sure. So anybody who is building a solution, any client, they need to either be experts in each and every component or they need to come to experts like us who stitches the entire solution mm. and gives an integrated IoT for which we work with partners. Right. So it's an orchestration of a lot of specialist fisher sure. players and bring one solution to the investor. Right, right. It is imperative mm. for success. So Vodafone Idea calls itself a tech co instead of a telco. So how, uh, the, how, how does your IoT business align with that tech co approach uh, in the broader scheme of things? See, the basic fundamentally of shifting from a telco to tech co, if you have to look at traditional telco, hmm. traditional telco was... No, completely focusing on the new own business and right. it is connecting point A to point B. But the moment you are coming to and trying to touch any transformation in projects of a client, any digital transformation, any business transformation, mm. any operational transformation, right? that's where a deep tech is required. Mm. And deep tech means either IoT required, analytics required, cloud solutions required. Mm. So IoT becomes an underlying, mm. you know, door essence to mm. capture, assimilate, and translate. Mm. And that is a big enabler for anybody to move on from a telco to a telco. Sure, telco out there. Yeah. Right, right. It's a natural problem in front of us. Any, any big impact that you foresee on IoT uh, with uh, the uh, emergence of 5G? Or do you think that the existing technologies are sufficient enough to run the IoT uh, business 
See the current use cases which yeah. are being tried by clients and right. which is being adopted and clients are willing to pay. Hmm. For that, uh, even 2G is good enough actually hmm. because they are looking for basic telematics. Hmm. There comes 4G. 4G is good enough for at least like 3 to 5 years. But most of the use cases today which we are deploying in the market. Right. 5G will come into play hmm. once you are trying to do very high-end industrial 4.0 or some healthcare uh, you know, solutions, use cases. That's the time with precision, speed. You know, those things are required. But today, it's good enough for mm. any enterprise to start. They cannot start their journey from 5G. Right. It'll be an expensive mistake, I doubt. So, sure. need to dabble, learn this journey, right. take their own. Sure, sure. Right. So, which are the main verticals you think uh, uh, that the Vodafone idea has uh, growing faster than the others? Okay, we have three horizontals very focused mm. in smart mobility, mm. smart infra, smart utility. Mm. But in terms of maximum innovation, growth, the... Revenue is happening on smart mobility. Right. Because that is where mm. we have a right to play. Mm. Because the IoT solution is mm. moving across the country. Right. Right. So we believe that we are in a sweet spot mm-hmm. and we believe that the country and the enterprise faces that as the biggest challenge that how do they give a dynamic solution? Mm. I think that's the uh, largest growing area and I, we are focused yeah. a lot yeah. on that. So is, is device ecosystem an area of concern uh, for any new use case to pick up? See, device ecosystem is always a concern for any tel- boom mm. or any client. Device. Right. Because what happens is after you do a device, normally they will do a POC in a very conducive environment in a limited mm. environment. And mm. when they deploy, they find a lot of problems. Right. There is interoperability problem, there is scalability problem. Sure. For which we are the first telco mm. to have an IoT lab which certifies mm. the interoperability, the standards right. deployment. Mm. And that's why device is extremely important. It has to be thoroughly tested mm. from these protocols sure. and then deploy. Right. right. So right. I, I think people miss that part out and they fix, they feel that, okay, I'll pick up any device and put a SIM card in my app. Sure, sure. Mm. Any, any innovation that Vodafone Idea is proud of in, in the area of IoT? Oh yeah, this is the latest one. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, right now we just yeah. we are the first telco mm. to unveil an end-to-end solution mm. for the uh, if you if you want, uh, camera case is Sanchar Shakti. Right. So this is inspired by the Honorable Prime Minister's vision of uh, Gati Shakti. Sure. This is right from order to delivery. Mm. There are so if you are ordering say this jacket from say Germany, mm. hypothetically mm. It comes to the port. Sure. From the port, it follows seven different legs of handover table. Right. And eventually it lands in your house. Yeah. So this is where we, uh, we we take a lot of pride in this. There are 26 use cases yeah. and it it offers three distinctly different solutions to a customer from one single window mm. from our smart central. Mm. You can measure, you can manage and you can monitor right. the entire supply chain, mm. things like proof of delivery, things like raising the invoice, sure. things like monitoring the driver behavior, routing, all of that can be done. So this is our latest offering which we are displayed here. We have a built in first input to this. I don't think so. Anybody in the world is doing this right now. Sure. Because nobody's trying to build this kind of an ecosystem from the government side also. Right, right. Any last comment on the uh, IoT industry at large? How do you see the market growing from here in the next, uh, let's say, 12, 12 to 15 months? See, the market is growing in terms of volume size almost at a 30% CAGR. Mm. And in terms of revenue, almost 20% CAGR. Mm. But... The impediment for growth for this is standardization sure. in our country, uh, the interoperability. And I think adhering to some of the compliances, because what we are finding is a lot of people have jumped into the bandwagon in trying to offer a solution. Uh, nothing wrong with that, hmm. but we, uh, the solution, if it is not deployed, if hmm. it is not onboarded, hmm. the hmm. client also has a very bad choice. Sure. And then they abandon this journey and they say, I don't want to be the first guinea pig, let somebody right. else try this. Right. I think and that's our initiative as thought leaders and market leaders. Mm-hmm. We are trying to expand the category the right way so that the customers have the right experience. So the things like IoT Lab, sure. things like a specialist team of PP, mm-hmm. help the clients design the solution. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the future is great. If somebody is still thinking about it, they are almost years behind now. Right. right. Uh, we have a bright future. Sure, sure. Then on that note, let's let's conclude this session and best of luck uh, for the bright future we just discussed. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.